China's ambassador to Canada gave a rare press conference today in Ottawa and made a lot of bold claims. He talked about the detention of the two Michaels, as well as reports of genocide being committed against Muslim Uyghurs in the country. Our chief political correspondent David Aiken reports on what the ambassador said and the reaction. China has secured a complete victory in the fight against poverty. That was just one of several incredulous statements made by Chinese Ambassador Kong Pei Wu during an hour-long video press conference Wednesday. He would make more incredible claims, saying, for example, that the arrest of the two Michaels and other Canadians was not in retaliation for the arrest of Chinese telecom executive Meng Wanzhou. There is no connection between these cases. They are totally different in nature. Nonsense, says Canada's Prime Minister. No. It is obvious uh, that the two Michaels were arrested on trumped-up national security charges. Chinese officials at the time were very clear that they absolutely uh, were connected as, uh, as a frame. As for the vast region in northwest China known as Xinjiang, Canada's parliament has concluded China is engaging in a genocide to destroy the 20 million Muslim Uyghurs who live in that region. But Kong said everyone there is living what he called a happy life. Allegations of genocide and the forced labor in Xinjiang are the lies of the century. Trudeau was not buying that line either. We have uh, and will continue to take very seriously the very credible reports of human rights re abuses uh, in, uh, in Xinjiang, uh, in China, perpetrated against the Uyghurs by the Chinese state. Uh, there are significant uh, concerns uh, being expressed all around the world. Ambassador Kong's goal seemed clear, to tell Canadians that Canada is perpetuating lies about China. In fact, Canada's Prime Minister, its Parliament, and its allies, including the United States, say that when it comes to the two Michaels case or the Uyghur genocide, it is China spreading falsehoods and lies. Donna? All right, David Aiken in Ottawa, thanks.